Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own blockchain quickly and reliably on top of Cosmos SDK. So in order to get things started, first we need to install Ignite. So what is Ignite? Ignite is the former you know, uh, Tinder Mint and it provides us a set of you know, uh, components to make our uh, blockchain you know, fast and uh, and then we can customize that and make our tokens and etc. So it's something similar to Substrate. If you're familiar with that, you know, we have Substrate with Polyts. So here we have uh, Ignite with components. So the first command you need to do is uh, Ignite command. First, you need to install that. So for the installation, at the, at the time of recording this video, you need to use this command. You need to have curve and you need to run the Spanish file. It shouldn't take too much time. All right, so it's already installed here. And now we need to serve our chain in order to create our basic uh, blockchain here. So now you need to create your own, you know, or scaffold your blockchain. So to do so, you can use a scaffold command and chain and then the address of GitHub repo. And why is it like that? If you're familiar with Golang programming, actually, Cosmos SDK or Ignite is on top of Golang, so it follows the same principle. So let's call our network cat uh, network. And let's say core. So now it's a scaffolding, you know, the basic components of our blockchain. Before you hit this command, make sure that the port 4500 is open on your machine and there is no any problem or firewall thing. All right, so the next command is serving our network and um, basically run uh, our chain. I need to go to the folder, cat network core, and then I need to run this. All right, so now our actually blockchain um, is up and running here. Um, is our um, account. <coughs> it's the mnemonic code here, or phrases here. Here is the tender mint node. Here our blockchain API, and here is the faucet. So we can go and uh, give them a shot and uh, explore, you know, the APIs on the browser. So here you can see available endpoints on our local node, on our machine here, ABC uh, I info, um, hashes, you know, info about hashes and transaction, chip transaction, etc. So here we can see also the API console. Um, how to, for, for, for example, the APIs for uh, authentication and so many different things. So here I can also show you the blockchain, um, you know, structure, uh, signing info, um, validators, and so I mean all the essentially basic bl blocks for uh, establishing a blockchain. So instead of writing down all this code by yourself from scratch or forking another blockchain, you have a blockchain that uh, you have a basically a SDK that generates everything for you. Um, okay, so one thing I need to tell you about the um, Cosmos SDK, um, you can act actually find this information on, um, on various resources such as the white paper. But uh, essentially, one of the main advantage of uh, Cosmos is the uh, interoperability. So that being said, it allows us to make our blockchain here, and then we can peg that or connect that to other blockchains. So here, each zone represents a separated blockchain. Ethereum, let's say, uh, Solana, Near, Algorand, and uh, I don't know, um, Bitcoin, something like that. So you can actually uh, pick your or connect your blockchain to the other chain and establish a cross-chain environment, which can be um, 
quite useful. Um, and uh, in order to do that, there is a actually very important uh, component. This is called IBC or Inter-Blockchain Communication Protocol that facilitate the whole thing for you. So um, in the future videos, I try to explain you how to basically establish uh, you know, I, an IBC and uh, try to communicate with other chains uh, within your customized blockchain. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you find it helpful, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, like button to the, to the video on my channel. Thank you very much and see you later. Bye bye.